7 o'clock movie. Be with us Thursday night at 7 for Lauren Hutton in The Cradle Will Fall. Thursday night at 7 on WDBB. Thursday, James Farentino, the doctor performing illegal experiments on his patients. Your condition is all in temporary. I've told you that before. Five deaths besides Vanjie Lewis. Lauren Hutton, an innocent witness, is his next victim. <coughs> ben Murphy, the man she loves who makes a desperate attempt to save her from a madman. Help me! But can he stop the killer before the cradle will fall? Thursday night at 7 on WDBB. Humane Society Adoption Center. Darling, I'd be perfect for a working couple. Do they have kids? Oh, I love kids. How about two watchdogs? <laughs> I'd like an older person. I'd even like the mailman. Please tell him I do newspapers. Go to your local Humane Society. Sweetheart, don't be hesitating. Cause a new friend is waiting for you. Howdy do. From WDBB Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. This is Alabama's 9 o'clock news with Bob Gambacurta on news, Mary Brown in the weather station, and Gus Hergert on sports. Good evening. Governor Wallace met with his top advisors today to map out strategy for an upcoming special session of the legislature. Although Wallace is yet to call the special session, House Speaker Tom Drake says the call will likely come within the next 10 days. Wallace wants the session to raise needed funding for education, mental health, and other financially ailing state agencies. Mental health officials, for example, face the prospect of having to lay off 1,000 employees if new funding is not found. Uh, to massage your budget, to make cuts in purchases, to uh, cut back on travel, we've done all of those things already this year. There's nothing else that we can do that can significantly reduce our budget except lay off employees and close beds, stop treatment programs for some individuals. That's the only solution that we can come up with to, to, to solve that kind of money problem. As Wallace was making that statement, mental health officials from across the state were meeting down the hall trying to decide just how to handle the agency's financial crisis. The $14 million state budget deficit actually amounts to over $21 million when you add lost federal matching funds. That amounts to 10% of mental health's operating budget. Wallace fixed the actual layoff figure at 973 employees statewide. And since Tuscaloosa is the home to three mental health and retardation centers at Rice, Partlow, and Taylor Hardin, those facilities are expected to take the brunt of the loss. Economic impact on Tuscaloosa will be more severe than anywhere else. Tuscaloosa is the second largest employer in that area of the state. Uh, and and I, don't, I haven't been given a figure of how many of the layoffs contemplated would occur in Tuscaloosa County, but I would suspect that we're talking about somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 or so would be Tuscaloosa County uh, uh, layoffs. Mental health will be competing with the Departments of Human Services and Corrections for contingency funds the next time the legislature meets. But Wallace says if his department doesn't receive at least $10 million of its $14 million deficit, the disastrous effects could be far-reaching and long-lasting. At the state capitol, Don Hartley, DBB News. Tomorrow night, Wallace will detail the depth of the mental health funding crisis. And Sunday morning on Questions and Answers, Don Hartley will also interview Wallace about the overall situation. Lieutenant Governor Bill Baxley's campaign says it has found 10,244 Republicans who voted illegally in the Democratic gubernatorial runoff. The Baxley campaign is bound by law to turn over to the Graddock campaign its evidence of crossover voting. Today, Baxley's people supplied Graddock's people with the 10,244 names. The Democratic Party hopes to resume its hearings into the contested nomination next Monday. Up to this point, the biggest development in the controversy has been last Friday's federal court ruling, stating that, the, that Graddock had violated the Voting Rights Act by encouraging crossover voting by Republicans. University of Alabama political expert Dr. Bill Barnard says the strong wording of the judge's findings makes the ruling a near landmark decision. It's a very strongly worded decision. It's an unusual decision in that most federal decisions that have overturned elections or that have intervened in some fashion in an election have come in the general election. To my knowledge, and I think the, the 
the text of the decision itself reflects this. It's the first time it's been involved in a, this question has been involved in a, um, in a primary contest. But given, given their finding, which that was that there had been a flagrant violation of the um, uh, Federal Voting Rights Act, uh, the remedy that they fashioned seems to be about as fair as, as could be. Meanwhile, throughout the heated campaign for the Democratic gubernatorial nomination, Lucy Baxley was constantly by her husband's side. When the battle moved into the courtroom, Mrs. Baxley seemed to drop out of sight. But now, with another runoff, a distinct possibility, Mrs. Baxley has returned to the spotlight. The last several weeks, I have just spent the entire time at Gulf Shores at the beach, and uh, it's really easy to kind of drop out of it there and just totally relax. It is, uh, uh, Bill is doing what I certainly believe he should have been doing, and uh, not just for us, not just for Bill and me, but for the half a million people in this state who supported us and who not only gave their money, poured their hearts and souls into it. and. And he, in my opinion, had an obligation to see it through until a just and correct end. Plans were announced today to relight Vulcan's torch. That story and more when Alabama's 9 o'clock news continues. In Tuscaloosa over the years, fine restaurants have come and gone. But only one has withstood the test of time and is now a tradition. It's the landing. The Landing has been selected by Herman Moore as one of the top 20 restaurants in Alabama. For an evening out, come to The Landing, where we feature great prime rib and seafood fresh from the Gulf. Or enjoy our daily luncheon specials and our soup and salad bar. The Landing, Tuscaloosa's finest dining, presented in a quiet and relaxed atmosphere on McFarland Boulevard. Dishwashing can make hands feel awful. One reason might be your dishwashing liquid. Some have more harsh ingredients than others. Hands can feel red, rough, cracked. Do dishes the ivory way. The simple truth about ivory liquid is hand-loving suds. Famous for cleaning dishes without all those harsh ingredients. Your hands can feel soft and smooth because ivory liquid is easier on them than the other leading brands. Ivory suds have the difference you can feel. Not too hot to shop when you shop for a new car or truck at night. Barclay Pontiac Cadillac GMC makes it easy to shop at night on our newly renovated lot. Our new lighting system makes it bright as day. Discounts on all new cars and trucks are marked clearly on every windshield. And we're featuring our largest inventory in months. Barclay Pontiac Cadillac GMC, McFarland Boulevard. Pontiac Cadillac GMC, Barclay makes it easy. It's trade and save days at Handy Cheeving Appliance. Now's the time to trade in your old appliance or microwave for a brand new 1987 model. Like Magic Chef's touchpad microwave with 10 power levels, digital clock and food probe, now just $1.99 less with trade. Magic Chef's big 1.2 cubic foot microwave with two level memory and recessed turntable with microwave stir, just $2.99 less with trade. Get the microwave oven you need during trade and save days at Handy TV and Appliance. USX Management and the United Steelworkers Union remain a wide distance apart in the ongoing nationwide walkout. Locally, talks between the United Auto Workers and Hayes International are also stall stalled. All told, about 5,000 workers in the Birmingham area are out of work and on the picket line. Bobby Holcomb has more on the area's ongoing labor disputes. Walkout, lockout, picket, strike all our terms the Birmingham area labor community have become all too familiar with in the last few weeks. About 5,000 members of the Birmingham area labor force are currently embroiled in disputes and are off their jobs indefinitely. Work stoppages can be attributed to a number of different reasons, but the three main sticking points between labor and management seem to center around contracts, conditions, and concessions. The latter of the three, concessions, caused these United Steel workers at USX Fairfield and Chicago Bridge and Iron Workers to man the picket lines. But if you look at the, the steel workers, the auto workers, and a number of the uh, construction crafts, that they have made these concessions over the years, and uh, 
At the same time, they have seen that the corporate profits have skyrocketed, so they feel like they have gotten nothing in return for their concessions. Newsweek magazine recently ranked Birmingham as having the fourth best economic climate for business in the country. One has to wonder if the recent walkouts will adversely affect that climate. Albright thinks not. Uh, you'll find that the records show that 90% of the contracts that are negotiated are agreed to at the bargaining table without a work start stoppage if it's a local contract. But most of them that we do uh, read about the paper most of the time are national agreements that we have very little control over. In Birmingham, Bobby Holcomb, DBB News. The statue of Vulcan, one of Alabama's most famous landmarks, is slated for a major improvement project this fall. A campaign to raise funds for the restoration and relighting of Vulcan's torch was announced today at the Birmingham Park and Recreation Board meeting. Several area businesses and organizations are sponsoring the drive, which will culminate in a huge relighting celebration on October 3rd. The project will also celebrate Vulcan's 40th anniversary overlooking Birmingham on Red Mountain. All costs for the renovation and relighting will be paid by funds raised. Any money received over and above the cost will be donated to the Alabama Sheriff's Boys and Girls Ranches for back-to-school clothing for their children. We launch a program to raise enough money to relight Vulcan and at the same time provides back-to-school uh, clothing for the children at the Alabama Sheriff's Boys and Girls Ranch. Jim McGill Chevrolet has been exceptional. The guy came through with two IROC Z28s. We're going to sell tickets on the cars, $2 a piece. The person who sells the most tickets, we give them a car. The person who buys a lucky ticket gets a car. In conjunction with Magic 96, the Birmingham JCs, we have a wide enough base to in involve all of the citizens in Bur of Birmingham in the relighting effort. Harry Bryant. Mary Brown joins us now. It's raining just about everywhere in our coverage area. It is, and we're very glad of that. It's welcome rain. We'll talk about where the rain is and show you that on radar in just a moment and take a look at the forecast for the rest of the week. Complete weather is next. Interest rates are down. It's summer. The kids are out of school. It's the perfect time for house hunting. Jack O'Brien, general contractor and realty, has three new Alabama Power Good Sense homes in the Crestview subdivision. This house, located on Lot 9, is approximately 1,400 square feet and includes a double carport. It has three bedrooms, two baths, a beautiful cathedral ceiling, priced in the mid-50s. As a general contractor, Jack O'Brien believes in quality first. That's why he's eager to say that living is better in a house that Jack built. The irritating, sometimes painful world of itch. Insect bites, stings, allergic rashes. For relief, there's new Benadryl spray, an invisible spray with the most recommended topical antihistamine to stop the pain, block the itch, and help stop it from coming back. The kind of relief you can't get from hydrocortisone. New Benadryl spray and Benadryl cream. Maximum strength relief from the world of itch. From Park Davis. If you're looking for better quality and service in your printing, call Interface Printing and Type. At Interface Printing and Type, we understand your problems. We print anything from four-color process to letterheads with folding and binding capabilities. You can even call and transmit your type from your computer to our computer and save one-third of the cost you would normally have for typesetting. Interface Printing and Type, where quality printing and good service is job one. Call now. We specialize in business. When you make your first appointment with Simmons Chiropractic Clinic, here's what will happen. After entering the reception area, you'll be given a complete examination, including a precise range of motion study. Then a series of x-rays will be taken. Then we'll sit down for a complete consultation and an explanation of your examination's findings. And then a chiropractic spinal adjustment formulated just for you. Then we'll make your next appointment. It's all a very pleasant experience. Make your appointment now with Simmons Chiropractic Clinic. Call 758-8292. Most insurance gladly accepted.